Hey everybody, Eric here with my latest video in F. Paul Wilson's Secret History of the World uh, series. I feel odd adding that, saying World Series, because this has nothing to do with baseball. But what I'm talking about today is Harbingers by F. Paul Wilson. Obviously, it's a Repairman Jack novel. Um, and as always, I'll do my review part, and then... I will get into how it ties in with everything, to the best of my knowledge. Uh, so in this book, uh, Jack is hanging out at Julio's, his usual watering hole, and one of the regulars comes to Jack asking for help. His niece is missing. Let me just take a quick look at the back. Yes, it is his niece. And uh, even though this is normally not something Jack would do, uh, after recent events in the previous books he needs to get off his ass do some work feels bad for this guy so he takes the case and this leads to everything else that happens in the book um and this is going to be difficult because there's just so much going on i don't want to give away all of the craziness um so right off the bat, I mean, this is F. Paul Wilson. It's incredibly well written. Uh, the characters are all fully fleshed out. Um, <clears throat> so let's see. How can I do this without too many spoilers? Because I saved those for the second part of the video. Uh, so Jack, as I said, he's, he's uh, feeling down because of earlier events. He's hanging out at Julio's. Um is approached, decides to take this case, puts the word out, because this isn't the type of job he normally does, looking for a missing person. So he just puts the word out on the street, and he actually gets a hit pretty quickly. And, um, all right. I don't know if this is a spoiler. Well, damn it. <laughs> uh, things move pretty quickly at the beginning. And they lead to Jack meeting this group of people, the Yenisari. Not sure if that's even close to how it's pronounced, but that's what I'm saying. And uh, this is a group that seems to be working for the Ally. Uh, for those of you who perhaps don't know, this whole secret history of the world thing is about a battle, cosmic battle between the Otherness, that's the bad guys, and the ally. Um, and so uh, Jack meets this group. They seem to be working for the ally. They want him to join. Well, some of them. And all sorts of craziness goes on that I really can't talk about. But it's well done. It's the the the, the people that we meet, the new folks, the Inasari, uh, all sorts of personalities. Um, I mean, there's a few that are really in the background. Some of them we just get names, but sort of the main ones that we care about in the sense of they're bigger characters in the story, not that we care about them necessarily. Uh, but they all have distinct personalities. And we... Oof. Yeah, and there's there's a lot going on with this group and what they're about and... Yeah, I'm trying to avoid spoilers because this is... I'm going to give this... I just finished this. I haven't even been on Goodreads yet to rate it, but I'm going to give it a 5 out of 5. I was worried that it was going to be lower um, because it felt... And this is, I guess, I wanted to say this in the review. It There's points where it feels like this book feels like an information dump. Um, it's not the relatively normal straight ahead type of story where Jack is trying to fix something. Although I guess the last couple haven't been that way as we're getting closer and I'm looking up at my books and there's one, two, three, four, five, six more repairman Jack books. And let's see, look at my list on my phone. You get to watch me count some more. Uh, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15 more books 
that I have until we get to the end of the world as we know it, as they always say. Um, so I don't know if the rest of these Repairman Jack books are going to just, are going to be like this, where it's just pushing, <coughs> excuse me, the main story, or if we're going to get Jack taking fixes. Uh, since I haven't read them before, I don't know what's coming. But this one, it's even though he does take this fix at the very beginning, that's the uh, such a tiny part of the story. And we're getting a lot of information about uh, the, the battle between the otherness and the ally. And I thought early on that this was going to decrease my enjoyment of the book. Again, well-written, great characters as always, but uh, early on I didn't feel that it was necessarily going anywhere. It wasn't going to have any impact, but boy was I wrong. Um, there is huge impact. Uh, uh, it also deals with, um, I don't know if I've mentioned this before, or if I thought it was a spoiler, but uh, a few books ago, Jack found out that Gia, his girlfriend, was pregnant. And so he's been looking for a way to legitimize himself, to become a citizen, so that he can be a, a real father to not just his baby with Gia, but also uh, Gia's younger da young daughter, Vicky. And that's a part of this. Um, things are sort of coalescing on that front in this book. So it's it's definitely different, I think, than the others. At least starts out that way so far. But it, uh, yeah, I, it definitely got to the point where I'm like, yeah, this is a five-star book. It packs so much punch. And I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to give a trigger warning. There is at least one scene that some people may find incredibly disturbing, triggering. Not sure the best way to put it. And I can't tell you what it is without giving away a big part of the story. Um, but so does that trigger warning even do any good if you don't know what you're watching out for but there's definitely definitely at least one particular scene that I could see having a, a huge impact on some people um, so anyway I think I think that's it for the review part I know I haven't really told you much but there's so much going on that could easily be seen as spoilers um, so, and there, like I said, there's a lot of information dump. We learn more about the battle, more about Jack's place in the battle, more about the otherness, the ally, um, the different pawns that are on the table. Uh, so, yeah, definitely a huge linchpin in the whole secret history of the world's epic saga. I would say. Um, so five out of five for me on Goodreads. All right. So all of that, I think I covered everything I feel that I can. So now we're going to get into the part where I talk about how it fits in. So there may be spoilers. Uh, but first, I got to look in here that has my definitive list. And this is Harbingers. So <clears throat> this takes place in January of year zero minus one. So we are basically uh, 15 months out from the end of the world as we know it. Uh, because the last book, Night World, takes place in May of year zero. So about a year and a half, slightly less. Uh, the last two books, Infernal, was in December. Criss Cross was in November. So things are really, uh, man, moving quickly. Um, and this book certainly deals with the aftermath of the last two books. Actually, the last three. 
gateway is crisscross and infernal. Uh, so right off the bat, we're dealing with the immediate aftermath of those events. And um, <clears throat> as I said, there's a lot of talk about the otherness, a lot of talk about the allies. So this really ties in tightly. And we meet this group, the Enesari, who, again, work for the ally. But we learn it's really driven home that the ally is a bad name because it's not really... It's just what we would think of as the lesser of two evils. Um, and something, something. I had it and I lost it. But it, it certainly changes a lot of things for Jack. There are huge changes for Jack in this book. And it'll be interesting to see what that does going forward. Um, the next book for me is Bloodline, which is another Repairman Jack. And then following that is the Fifth Harmonic, which will be the first non-Repairman Jack book in a long time. Um, it's down there somewhere. There it is. I can see it. All my Repairman Jacks are up there. They're normal paperback size, as you can see. Um, and then over here I have the hardbacks and trade paperbacks, the oversized stuff that won't fit on that shelf. So, yeah, this really... Uh, oh, I know what I was going to say. It even This story even talks about things from way back. From the first Repairman Jack novel, I suppose, since I, I haven't read the, the Young Jack and the prequel Repairman Jack books, so I, don't, I can't say that it touches on any of that, but it goes as far back as not just the first Repairman Jack book, but flashbacks in the first Repairman Jack book. Um, things are just all being tied together. Lots of questions answered. Um, as Jack has been told, there are no coincidences. Uh, um, a lady with a dog shows up in this one. And uh, the, the adversary shows up. And we get, we get a lot of information from the adversary. We get information-ish from the ally. Um, so, yeah, this one seems to be possibly the most important one that I've read so far. Um, and we'll see. We'll see where we go from here. I don't know. <clears throat> It'll be interesting, for me anyway, to start getting into uh, the non-repairman Jack stuff and see how, it's all, how that stuff's going to tie together. Because at this point, it's obvious that all of these repairman Jack books really are just focused on uh, the secret history and the battle. Um, the first few was more about the fixes, but there were the connections. Now they seem to be almost completely focused on the, the, the war being waged. But we'll see. We'll see how things move along. I don't know. Um, everything else on the list is something that I have not read. So it's all surprises for me from here on out. <clears throat> That's it. I don't know what else to say. Um, I know I can have spoilers in this section. I mean, technically, I can do whatever I want. I can have spoilers all over the place. But, you know, I try to avoid that. I want people to read these and enjoy them, have the same experience that I did. Um, but I could have spoilers in this second part of the thing. But I'm still trying to avoid that because, again, this is a gut punch of a book. And... I don't, I, I want you to get, basically I'm saying I want people to get punched in the gut. Um, so I'm trying not to spoil anything, but that is Harbinger's, a Repairman Jack novel, F. Paul Wilson. Uh, there you go. I'm not sure what else to say. So if you have any comments, questions, or corrections, please put them in the comments below. 
comments are open for spoilers. Just post a spoiler warning. We try to be polite here on my channel. Um, please like, share, and subscribe. And if you'd care to follow me on other social media, my Twitter is at Ronin5757. My Instagram, where I post pictures of books, comic books, board games, and fuzzy animals, is uh, Eric Smith 5757 That's Eric with a K, E-R-I-K-S-M-I-T-H 5757. That's all I've got for you this time. So until next time, read more books.